Okay, continuing painting the uh, pieces, as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna get a, a few more coats onto this. This is actually not gonna be cream. These, these, these pieces are gonna be cream, but these pieces are gonna be uh, probably the green color, but I'm giving it a good base in the, uh, in the cream to, to um, thicken up the uh, undercoat effectively on it. So uh, that's where we are at the moment. In the back of the garden there, I've just got uh, the body sitting down on the floor there, just drying off. I've given that, uh, the, um, that's had a couple of coats on yesterday, still drying off and the, some of the other pieces have just been repainted and said so they're drying off. And this is the uh, first coat of the green paint, uh, the metallic green paint going onto the uh, onto the greebles and covers. Okay here we are as you can see. Um, I've been trying out a few different uh, paint finishes um, so I haven't really decided what final paint I'm going to use, uh, final colour scheme I'm going to use. I just want to see what the, 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 the paints actually look like. But that's the that's the silver. I was going to do these in, in green but that's actually sort of the metallic. That is, uh, let me just check which uh, paint that one is. Okay that's uh, Titan Titanium. Uh, paint which, which looks really good actually um it's certainly filling up the um the the uh you know the printing marks on it i'm still going to give that a sand down but it's it's certainly looking um some of that i mean that's come up really nicely there's a few marks there i'd, I'd slightly uh um over painted it and then rubbed it back a bit so you know it's it's, it's, it's an undercoat and that was just where it was sitting uh, dry so it needs a good sand down and uh, another uh, few attempts at that but uh, again I wasn't going to do these um, in silver but uh, I, I think I will do now this just this is certainly getting to the point where it'll rub down so it's had a, a two or three coats of uh, of the cream actually as you can just see underneath there um, uh, and now the silver on top so I might sand that down a bit I've still got to fill in that mark actually it's slightly annoying me um, I'm still going to work on those, uh, but certainly on those as well. The green I was going to use, which is the, uh, hold on, I'll get a tin. That's the velvet green. Um, it does actually come up really nicely on it. That I'd used before on here, which I showed you, it's that, that back colour. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, certainly gives it a... <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off the body and actually try it and see how it looks. So it still juries out on that colour. That's it again on the arm. Um, that's again. It's just one coat. So it's uh, probably a light sand down. But that's that's actually come out really smoothly there. Um, so not a hundred percent sure which colours I'm going to use. Certainly I'm going to use silver on the all the you know the metally. Those. Um, I was going to do cream, but I'm just looking at they're always coloured actually of some description. So um, that's probably going to get painted. I'll just keep this as an undercoat at that point, or you know, first one of the to toughen up a bit. Not sure what colour that's going to be. Um, it if I do go green, <clears throat> if I do go green, it's going to go. It's going to be green. Uh, it's going to be you know that colour. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, silver and green would be the Slytherin colours, which would be quite suitable I think. Um, give it a bit of Harry Potter. Um, don't know but I, what I have been just doing is spraying the dome um, and the colour I've used for the dome, get that one, was Ford Radiant Red um, and it, I think it looks rather nice actually. The, the dome is black. Uh, I'll bring it in here and put it on here in a, in a couple of seconds and you'll see it. Uh, so I, originally what I was going to do is was going to put the silver underneath the... Uh, uh, it's going to be black and then silver and then whatever colour I made it, which is always going to be a dark red. Uh, I've just put the, the, the dark red directly on the black and it looks good. So uh, let me actually show you that now. Okay, so here's the, the dome and I've just given it a... Uh, coating of the uh as i say the ford, ford radiant red uh, spray um and i quite like the effect actually this is straight on black i was going to put a silver uh, coat on but i tried a bit of silver on top and it, and it started burning the paint so um uh, i stopped doing that immediately i'll show you the mark um i know they always say do it on a test but uh i did it here actually, actually what what i was actually doing was i uh, was spraying the corners with with gum metal uh, um, um, paint 
Um, but I got a bit over there accidentally and just rubbed it down, but it actually took off quite a, <laughs> took off quite a bit, so I need sanding back down again. So I stopped using that. Um, it hasn't affected underneath, but it was, it was quite a dramatic paint stripper. Um, that, that was the gunmetal stuff, but uh, that that's solvable. Um, okay, as you can see, um, I quite like the effect of the black uh, coming through on uh, on the in the background. Um, it's not it's not glossed, um, although you can sort of that that's a sort of a gloss there where where I've been slightly thicker on the paint. I've just got to sand that down a bit. So um, I'm slightly over enthusiastic in in some areas, but uh, it'll sand back and, um, um, and paint up all right. But it is quite interesting, the, the black coming through, because it's, I'm not after any, um, it's a sort of, uh, it's my own colours, if you see what I mean. I'm not bothered to, it to be realistic to the film. Um, but I quite, I quite like the effect of that anyway. So I'm certainly going to put a, a further coat on it. I'm not, I'm not going to leave it like that, but... Uh, it's quite interesting. So I'm going to I'm going to sand that down, fill in a, a few bits and pieces. Um, the actual uh, little panels, which are these, which I'm still going to put on, um, which I'm still going to paint. Uh, I don't know where they'll go, but uh, I have a I have a bag full of them, which will go into various sections. I don't know what colour I'm going to do those, uh, but I suppose I should just do them silver. I don't think I'll be... Uh... It's quite interesting in white, actually. So it's, it's really um, just playing around with the colours at the moment. Uh, and I keep changing, changing the colours on, on, the, uh, on the unit. <laughs> I should do that in order, rather than just randomly put things in there. But some of the silver pieces I was doing, originally I'd, I painted them green and then painted them silver, and it doesn't seem to cause any problems with the, uh, oh, you know, the, the, the type of colour over the, uh, the previous coat. It's just giving it more coats. Um, but I suppose that will probably be silver, although I'm looking, some people have actually done white ones. So maybe do that in white. I don't know. I think I'll just continue doing the body, um, which I'll show you next, actually. That's probably the next thing. So uh, hold on a minute. OK, rather than bring the whole body in, which is sitting in the garden, just drying off, this is the effect I've been trying to do. This has had a couple of coats of the uh, the creamy white, uh, but I've got some gunmetal um, paint that I've sprayed on. I was just really trying it for effect on this, so I'm not bothered about those drip marks on there because I'm gonna gonna sand that back but the idea being would be to I'm gonna paint this completely over in, in the white and then sand it out a bit so you see the metal coming through or certainly the edges um, and I've also been spraying on the main body in the in the uh, in the seam lines as well with the gun metal and it's it's getting there um, it's looking quite um, quite horrific at the moment. It's <laughs> paint all, all over the place. Um, but that's the idea anyway. So uh, I will show you the rest of the uh, greebles that I've been doing as well. In fact, I'll show you the body because it's quite spectacular. OK, so there's the body. It was looking a um, bit of a mess at the moment, obviously. Um, I've just been spraying... Uh, well, I was trying to spray some of the corners and, and then getting blobs and, and pushing them back a bit. It's quite corrosive, that... Uh, uh, um, metal paint so um, this is going to need a, a good sand down it's going to get a sand down anyway uh, don't worry about if you can see the red marks at the top okay you can see it a bit better um, just so I so when I, later on when I, I sand into it I've got the gun metal on the edges uh, and in, in inside and stuff but um, it's obviously going to get several more coats. That red at the top, uh, which you can just see let's go up, is just because I was had the dome sitting on it when I was painting it. Because it was, uh, I'm slightly, uh, I haven't got that many paint surfaces, so I thought I'd do it on the top. But I'll just paint over the top of that, so it's not not too worried. It's really I'm just getting a lot of coats on and sanding. Um, but the the body is coming on obviously. <laughs> That I've got to sand right back again. Um, that's why I dribbled some of the metallic paint and uh, it just stripped. So it is, is, as I say, got to be really careful with that stuff. I should have just tested it uh, on, on smaller bits, I suppose. But I was going to put it on there anyway, so I wouldn't have stopped me putting it on there. 
So I've just got to sand that off tomorrow. Um, that's the body. I will show you the greebles. Okay, these are the... Uh, I don't think they're greebles, are they? I think they're vent covers and various things. Um, I did those in silver so far. Again, I was trying the, the dark green on those. Um, which looks okay. Needs a bit of sanding down, but... Uh, I don't think they look too bad. Uh, it's a single coat at the moment, as I say, so I think I might do uh, more coats. But I think I'm just going to, as, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to assemble the whole thing and see how I feel about the, the colour. That's one of the, uh, you know, the uh, eyeballs. Um, coin slots, I think they're called, or whatever. So I've got still quite a bit of painting to get on with, um, a lot of painting to get on with, uh, but it's it's interesting the effects of the paints actually, the different uh, how they did come out. I quite like the green, so we will we will see. <laughs> 